Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be doing lesson 1.1, place value in whole numbers. In the math method section of your notes, I want you to write the largest number you can using the digits 0, 3, 9, and 7. You can only use each digit one time. Then I want you to write the smallest number you can using each digit only once and do not begin with zero. Be ready to share those numbers that you came up with with a partner when you come to class tomorrow. Our vocabulary today in the vocabulary section of your notes is the following words. Digits, any number zero through nine in our place value system. Places, the values assigned to each digit based on their placement. Standard form, the number written out using digits. An example would be 1,891. So the focus of our lesson today is to be able to look at the values of digits and numbers through the hundred thousands. And when you look at my chart here on the screen, we have numbers listed here on the left, and we have our place value spots here in each of these columns. You can see beginning at the far right with the ones and all the way traveling to the left, we have the hundred thousands. Now, if you take a look at the digit two in each one of those rows, notice how the value of that two changes. When we look at our first example with our two here, it is only worth two ones. As we move to the left, the value of that two is increasing by 10, which means that I could multiply two times 10 to get 20 for our second number that we have here in the second row. If we look at the third row, we have our two here in the hundreds column. And what we do again is if we take 20 times 10, we're going to get 200. So anytime we travel to the left, we are multiplying times 10. If we travel to the right, what do you think we're going to do? What would be the opposite of multiplication? Hopefully you're thinking division. So if we divide by 10, does that work? If I have 200 and divide by 10, do I get 20 to move backwards in our place value system? The answer would be yes. So if I move to the left on the place value chart, each time I move, I am multiplying by 10. If I move to the right, I would actually be dividing by 10. So here we have a place value chart. We're going to do a couple of practice problems together and then I'm going to give you two problems that you will have to do on your own and make sure that you bring to class in your notes. So the first number that I'm going to give you is not gonna to be too large, but we will make it somewhat large. So let's say that we have this number right here and I want you to find the value of the digit four. So what would the value of that digit four be? How would we figure that out? Well, first of all, I'm gonna to look to see what column is it in. It's in the 10,000s place, so that means that that four is worth 10,000. So if I had 10,000 four times, that would be 40,000. So that particular digit is worth 40,000. Let's do another one. Make it just a little bit bigger. So let's say that we have 
this number right here. First of all, does anyone know how to say that number? Well, before we can figure out how to say it, we have to figure out where the commas go, and then that helps us figure out how to say the number. So if we start here in the ones column and we count to the left three places, so we're going to count one, two, three. We are going to put a comma here because we've got three digits. Then we're going to go three more digits on the left, so we're going to have another comma here. So each time we have a comma, we're going to pause when we say the number out loud. So I'm going to say the first digit, which is nine. I'm going to look up at the top. It says million, so I'm going to say nine million. And then we're going to look at the 896. So we would say 896, and we're going to look at the thousands place because that's where it ends. We'll, ha we'll say 896,000, and then we're going to say our 534. So the way we would say that would be all together, everybody with me, 9,896,534. Now, here's your question. What's the value of this 8? Remember, look in the column. What column is it in? It's in the hundred thousands. So that 8 would be worth 800,000. And I'm really going to have to squeeze that in there. So that 8 is worth 800,000. So now it's your turn. In your notes, your first problem that I need you to write down is going to be this. And I want you to give me the value of this digit. So I need you to write the whole number in your notes. And then next to that, write the value of the 9. Your second problem is going to be a bit larger. And I would like for you to write the number down once again and give me the value of this 5. So make sure you've got that in your notes for Ticket to Group and you'll bring that to class. So one of the tools that we will be using in class is a place value flipbook. And I've got a picture here just to show you what it's supposed to look like. You'll be making these in class and putting them together, and hopefully this will help you um, if you ever get stuck with what value is a digit. To summarize what we've done today, we have looked at place value, of course, but we've learned that the value of whole numbers change based on if you move left or right on the place value chart. We also learned that if I move to the right in the chart, my number will decrease or get smaller. Whereas if I move to the left in the chart, my number increases or gets larger. Thanks for watching.